AWOL Carpetbag here. In the words of the great Joe Dirt, you're paying attention to the wrong part of the story. You see, the other day I released a video about the rise and fall of the theme park Fun Town Mountain. And I actually got some great feedback. Um, I've talked to a lot of people about it. Uh, I'm really happy with how it was received. But one small thing about that video angered some people. And oddly enough, it had nothing to do with Fun Town Mountain. So, during the video, I may have made an offhand comment about this man right here. Abraham Lincoln, our nation's most beloved president. <clears throat> and what did I say about Lincoln? What did I make an offhand comment that angered so many people? <laughs> I made an offhand comment that Abraham Lincoln was born in the state of North Carolina. Now, do I, the carpetbagger, believe that this man, Abraham Lincoln, was born in the state of North Carolina? I am not a historian. I am not a researcher. But there is some evidence and you can look this up yourself. I did a video about it, but you can do your own research. There is significant evidence that shows that there is a possibility that Abraham Lincoln was conceived out of wedlock and born in the state of North Carolina. I'm not saying that he definitely was born in North Carolina. Some very angry people from Kentucky disagree with me very strongly or disagree with that concept very strongly. But I should have known. You, you don't mess with Lincoln. As someone who grew up in the Midwest, I should know just as well as anyone you don't mess with Lincoln. You see, I grew up in Indiana. And what my teacher told me when I was, I think, maybe second or third grade, she said, okay, Lincoln may have been born in Kentucky, and he had a law practice in Illinois. They call themselves the land of Lincoln. But he grew up in Indiana. And that's the most important part of your life. That's what makes you who you are. So Indiana was the most important part of Abraham Lincoln's life, or so says my second grade teacher. I know people from the great Commonwealth of Kentucky would say, well, that's bullcrap. If he wasn't born, he couldn't have grown up. If he wasn't born in Kentucky, he couldn't have ever moved to Indiana. So Kentucky is the most important Lincoln-related state. And then, in Illinois, they call themselves the land of Lincoln. They're like, screw Kentucky, screw Indiana, Abraham Lincoln is 100% Illinois' property. He, everything he ever did important that he didn't do in Washington, D.C., he did in the state of Illinois, and they crown themselves the land of Lincoln. Now, that's a pretty serious claim. And when you drive through these states, like every single one mentions Lincoln on their welcome sign. It's like, welcome to Indiana, Lincoln's boyhood home. Welcome to Kentucky, birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. Welcome to Ohio, a place Abraham Lincoln drove through once. Everyone wants a piece of the Lincoln pie. Except when North Carolina tries to cut themselves a sliver, everyone's like, hey, North Carolina, you were part of the Confederacy. 
you don't get Lincoln. So I live here in North Carolina now. I believe there is a possibility that Lincoln was born here in North Carolina. Feel free to disagree with that. I think it's possible he may have been born in Kentucky. And if you, if you, one thing I do find very fascinating, if you go by the, tra the traditional view that Abraham Lincoln was born on whenever they say his birthday was, it's escaping me right now, in Kentucky, was actually born on the same day as Charles Darwin. They didn't just share a birthday, they shared the exact date of birth. They were born the exact day. I don't know, they could have been born the exact hour or minute. I'm not sure on that. So, for all those angry Kentuckians who sent me hate mail for insinuating that Abraham Lincoln was not born in their state, we, Lincoln belongs to all of us. In fact, America should just change its motto to the land of Lincoln. Because we all love Lincoln, we all want a piece of him, and we can share Lincoln. Lincoln loved all of us. He even loved the South. Even after the South tried to kill him, he said, you know what, I forgive you guys. I want you guys to come on back and be part of America because I love all of you. Especially those of you in North Carolina. So, sorry, I didn't mean to anger anyone. That's not my goal here. But, uh, I'll let Abe Lincoln and his three friends play us out. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. As the flag still stands for freedom, and they can't take that away. I thought they sang the whole song. Sorry. www.thecarpetbagger.org mm -hmm.